Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hello. You want me to open it for you? Give it to me. Hi, Sue. Hi, Betty. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Miss Donna Barber. How are you? Hi, Sheila. Hi, Trees. Sunny day on the opposite coast. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. Hi, Sandy. Hey, hey, Angel. How's it going? Come here. Give it to me. I'll open it for you. Hey, Nicole. Hi, Miss Edie. Hi, Linda. How are you feeling, Miss Edie? There you go, baby. Here, let me take it off. Troy is eating some chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. There you go, baby. Hi, Annette. Happy hump day, y'all. Happy hump day, y'all. You have on my favorite color, pink. Oh, my necklace came off. What the heezy wheezy? What the heck? Troy, Troy, our friends are saying hi to you. He said, mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. That was his hi. Mm. You to put it on backwards now? Hi, Trina. How's everybody doing today? Oh, my goodness. It's it's um kind of sunny today. Kind of. Like, the sun is there, but not really. Hi, Teresa Renee. Joy, joy. Hi, Sharon Smith. Joy, joy. Our friend just said, he's looking at me going, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So I hope everybody's having a good day. Hopefully, your week is, uh you know, good. Off to a good start. Well, we're in the middle now, aren't we? Um, hi, Beth. Hi, Helen. Hi, Margaret. Thank you for sprinkling. Troy, Troy, busy. I know. He was like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> He is. Okay, so, hi, Sharon. Hi, Trish. How are you? So, I told you guys, you know, it wasn't until I packed almost everything that I was like, oh, I still need projects to do for the next couple weeks. So, Hi, Carol. Good morning, Nikki Hunter. Are you home and comfortable now? Are you back home settling back in? <laughs> so one of the things I kept out was, you know, a tissue box. You can't go wrong with a good old tissue box, right? So um, this one is from Factory Direct Crafts. It's the one with the little um, pull out in the bottom. Is Troy Troy getting anxious about the move with all the pack? No, girl, he is. He just brought a box over here again. Hi, Deborah. How are you? Hi, Sheila Teagan. Thank you, Betty. He um he he is loving the packing the boxes and the taping and the writing on them and everything. So yesterday we packed some of his stuff. I put a lot of it in the um the bag for the, the big bin outside. <laughs> Hi, Diane Dunkelman. Let me get my desk on the screen. All right, so um, so we're going to do a tissue box. We're going to do um, a little bit of some, um, we're going to use some acrylic paints um, and do a little bit of maybe like watercolor-ish type stuff. Um, your wall is empty. It is empty. It is empty. Hi, Christina. How are you? What are you doing? You should be packing, but I'm glad you're here. Oh, girl, I'm packing. I am packing. Hi, Joy. But we are out of boxes. Oh, which reminds me. So tomorrow, hi, Miss Linda. Tomorrow, you guys probably will not see me. Um, we have to go to get the other couple of utilities turned on or turned over the water, the garbage. Um, we've got some stuff. We got to go back to Home Depot and pick up some boxes because the order is going to take too long to get here. Yeah, uh, so we we need to keep it moving. We need to keep it moving. Keep it moving. Hi, Elizabeth. So tomorrow you won't see me, but um, more than likely you'll see me on Saturday, which is not normal. You usually don't see me on Saturday because I have creative hours. So after creative hour, you'll probably see me because I don't have to pick up Trevor because Trevor is done with his um, internship for now. I did finish the frame. You guys will see pictures of it uh, tomorrow, I believe. Hi, Leona. Okay, so we're going to do some, like, um, we're going to water down some acrylic paints um, and use them as a wash on the wood. 
And then um, these again are the Calambor papers um, that you can find at TH Decor. Um, and so I'm thinking we're going to use one of the butterflies today. We'll do some stenciling, you know, some fun stuff. Um, so let's grab this butterfly. You guys know I grab, I have to order two of everything. So, um, you know, I'm thinking this one's going to be a little too big. Yep. All right. So we're going to use this butterfly. Um, also I have, um, get your things done better now than in a panic later. Yes. Cindy Whitaker, did you order a ton of boxes for Troy? So yes, I did order a ton of boxes for Troy as well. Um, um, so a ton of boxes for Troy, a ton of boxes for me and we're already out. <laughs> yeah. We need to get some of the other stuff, um, taken care of. And Troy Troy has an eye doctor appointment tomorrow. So, you know, we're just, we're, you, again, you probably, you're not going to see me tomorrow unless I do like a late night, not late night, but a later in the evening, um, you know, live, which probably I won't see a lot of you if I do. So um, I'm having a lot of questions about Teresa Renee's um, altered book box. So let me just go over it one more time. So again, I'm going to do the class with you guys on a live or on Zoom. We'll work out those details later. I'm giving you guys a couple of weeks to get your book, uh, your altered book if you want it. So this is the kit that um, is included for what we're going to do. So I'm going to be taking a class with you guys because we're going to follow along with Teresa Renee's video. I have put her video that is on YouTube. It's attached on my um, page. Um, so yeah, I thought it would be fun to kind of do like a class with you guys. You know what I mean? So we're going to, and I'll be able to put her video up on screen. So um, again, it has the cute little kittens right so this is an a3 rice paper okay so it has the four kittens so you guys will be able to choose whatever kitten you want it has an ab studios rice paper and a decoupage queen rice paper okay so and then uh, included in this box is my favorite decoupage varnish and glue mat the delicate metallic in dark gold acrylic matte paint in titan white um there's a little bit of lace from stamperia some ribbon from old-fashioned ribbon and then the actual journal okay so all of that is included my link is on my page and if you wanted to take a peek at the video or if you wanted to do it on your own and not wait for me you're more than welcome to do that as well because Teresa's video is already out there so i'm i'm gonna check back in in like two weeks to see um you know who's got their box and their you know who wants to do it and then we'll figure out if we want to do it on a zoom or on a live i'm super excited i thought it would be something different um that box i'm not sure sue do you know it's like 45 dollars 40 so it's it's not expensive at all for all the stuff that you you get Hi, Michelle. How are you? A lot of work, but glad you won't have the creepy night. I am too. I am too. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is usually I do this after. Mm -mm. <laughs> usually I do this afterwards, but um, really quickly, I'm just going to take a 320 and I'm just going to go over the wood. This is raw wood. You guys know that when we paint it, it's going to lift up those fibers. But because I'm going to do kind of an acrylic wash, I'm just going to do a little bit of sanding right now. They're 45. I want to do a project kit like that once a month. Oh, that would be so fun. Teresa, that would be so fun to do a project kit like that once a month. Um, you can get it from TH Decor, Miss Linda. TH Decor, Sue put in the link. Um, it's, uh, a box 
that Teresa curated, and she has a video um, on YouTube. So, but I thought it would be super fun to kind of, we'll all be students. And I mean, what better of a teacher than Teresa, right? I mean, come on now. I know once a month would be so awesome. Are the mystery boxes sold out? Barbara Ross, I do not believe that they are sold out. Um, also, if you do use my link, remember to let me know so I can get you on the wheel because you guys were going to do a giveaway for um, y'all can poke holes on my part. No way. Are you kidding me, Teresa? Um, remember, if you use my TH Decor link from now until May 14th to let me know so that way we can get you on the wheel to do a drawing. For some awesome happy mail. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Um, I was actually, I don't know why I pulled these colors, because I was looking at the girl, I think. I'm going to pull out uh, a couple of colors. Um, and then let's make a wash. So they are not sold out. Okay, so the um, mystery boxes are not sold out. So we're just going to make a wash. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take some paint and we're going to water. Where did my spoon go, y'all? Oh, it's, it's, the, it's the opposite way. I couldn't see it. So we're just going to take a little bit of paint. And this one is poison green, I think. I just ordered some more of this. Hi, Janine. How are you? Sue just put up the uh, the mystery box. Sue just put up the link for the mystery box. Also, make sure that you share in um, my group your unboxing because you know I'm super nosy. <laughs> All right. So you can see in there I'm going to put quite a bit of water. All right, and let's move the paper, Terry, because you always do such awesome things. <laughs> and also, remember, in the mystery box has the washi tape. So um, we can use washi tape in our, um, in our project that we're going to do, watching Teresa, too. So there's a lot. We're going to do, that's, I think it's going to be super fun. I haven't done a journal in a long time. You guys know that I, um, I make albums. I haven't made an album since probably Teresa's Christmas album. Um, I don't have a lot of room to do it. And so I usually, you know, I need to, I need to have like a whole, <laughs> I need to have a whole area to put out everything. So I'm excited and looking forward to getting more space so I can do some more albums because I haven't done albums in a long time. Like I said, the last one I think was Teresa's and before that was just as <laughs> was long. You ordered your kit. Make sure, hi, Sandy Cooper. Hi, Evelyn. Please make sure, hi, Mary Casey. Thank you. Make sure if you do use my link that you send me, huh, y'all, you send me a little message because sometimes your comments get filtered and then I miss it. Okay, so what I'm thinking is the butterfly is going to go on like the front side, right? So on one side. So I'm going to do three sides of the wash. What I'm going to do is just take a clean cloth or not a clean cloth, a soft cloth. So this is going to be the back. This is where, um, did I put it upside down? This is where the little, they cut that kind of funny, y'all. This is where the little door is for the tissue boxes to go in. So we're going to do this side, this side, and this side. And because I do all the things, um, I'm actually going to put just a little, <laughs> as you know, I'll do it. You know I'll do it. All right. So let's just get any old brush. Oh, thank you for the stars, Evelyn. I really appreciate that. Okay. So we are 
going to take and actually I want that really watered down and we're just going to take this that's still really strong so let's do and what I want is that the natural wood um, but I am going to actually pipe some of this over here and add more water because I really just want a wash of it. And what I want to happen is the natural wood grains to come through. And the color, there we go. The color is very strong, but... So we're just going to put that on there and we're just going to wipe it back. And it's just a different, just gives you a different look. Um, and, you know, you get the natural, the natural wood come through. And I just, I think that it, it looks really pretty when it's like that. So we're just going to keep wiping it back. Now, sometimes what will happen, and it's happening right there. So sometimes when they put these boxes together, right, there's glue or something that ends up on the surface. And so it becomes like there's a little resist. So we'll do a little bit of sanding there um, after we get around, because I'm sure that's not going to be the only place. And then we'll try to see if we can break some of that down and then go back over it. Hi, Cheryl. Who said we can't multi? Who said we can't multitask? This paint color is called um, Poison Green. Hi, Tina. Hi, Jackie Bates. Charlene, you, these late nighters, man, Charlene. <laughs> Sharon's rubbing off on you with these late nighters. <laughs> so, again, and I'm just, I don't want it. That's my hair. That's gross. I don't want it to get away from me. Uh, that's why I'm kind of doing a little bit at a time because, you know, the um, paint is going to absorb into the wood. So if I were to paint that whole thing all at one time, right, it's going to absorb and I'm not going to be able to wipe too much of it back. You ordered your book. Hi, Brenda. Just make sure you send me a little note, please, because... When I go back through the comments, sometimes, like I said, they get filtered and then I miss it. Can you guys see that? Isn't that pretty? That's a little harsh. I'm not worried about it. Um, we can either sand it back a little bit or um, when we do some stenciling and stuff like that, you know, it'll probably break it down. But so you can just water down. Whatever paint. See, Troy's got a box over here already. So I left out a lot of Troy's charging cords and a lot of his phone cases. So that way, you know, he wasn't without anything. Because, you know, that would just be a mess if I took all of them away or not took them away but if I put them all in the box because he was already pointing today y'all on the way back and it was so funny because we were passing one of the goodwills we were <laughs> we went to and he pointed at it and I just I had to giggle because he pointed right at the right time and I was like really Troy <laughs> you know where we're at So can you guys see what it's doing? Guys, please don't blink too quick. Charlene might fall asleep. You might miss her. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Evelyn. I appreciate that. Hi, Miss Linda. All right, so... 
-hmm. And when you're doing the wash like this, mm -hmm. you know, you can make it um, as light or as dark as you want. Obviously, it's personal preference. Um, but I just think it's kind of a fun way, different way to do some of your wood projects. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness, Troy. Where did you get the tape gun? Uh, <laughs> Your brother left it down. Next thing you know, you're going to tape onyx. Uh, Hi, Evelyn. How are you? Uh, it's, a, it's really cool, right? The uh, look that it gives. I don't know what you're trying to do, babe. No, don't, don't tape that box, Bubba's. All right, so again, I'm not going to do that side. There's a little bit on there, but we got to paint it white anyways. So I'm not going to do that side. Let's um, dry this a little bit. I'm going to stand it up, and let's do a little bit of the top first. Duh. Okay. Hi, Sophie. How are you? So some of you know, I um, used to, Yvetta had a Patreon, and I used to um, be a part of that Patreon, and she um, actually was the one, the first one to show me to do this a few years ago, and I think I still have... I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure I still have the box mm -hmm. that I did like mm -hmm. this. Troy. So, you know, it's always amazing to learn from our fellow creators. Add a little bit of something. Put your little twist on it. But it's always important to also, you know, give credit to those that have taught you and showed you things along the way. Yeah, he does. He wants to get his packing going. So we don't, we've been putting the, um, tape gun up higher because, you know, Troy will probably end up taping dogs together. Oh, by the way, well, you guys haven't seen Jack, I don't think. I picked up Onyx and showed you, but Jack got a haircut, y'all. <laughs> and I think Onyx thinks he's a new toy. <laughs> because without all that hair, thank you, Barbara Ross. Please just send me a note. With all that hair, he's without it, he's tiny. And I really do think that Onyx was like, what's this new toy I'm going to push around? Because now Onyx looks like a humongous dog compared to Jack. She's like chasing him around and he's barking like crazy because he's trying to get her to get away from him. And oh my gosh. It's, it's hilarious. But yeah, he, without all that hair, because I tell you guys, he's got that underbite, the same coat color as Chewbacca. And when he's got a lot of hair, because I don't cut him in the winter, because he is pretty small underneath all that hair. He, you know, he gets cold because he, he does like the shapes and stuff. And I made that mistake one winter. I cut him um, shorter and he was shivering for golly few days. I felt awful. Put a little jacket sweater on him, but um, yeah, so Onyx just was just, just couldn't believe it and was like kept messing with him and trying to nip at him and if he comes over here, I'll grab him. Hi, Sue Rustin. Good evening. Hi, Roxanne. How are you? Yeah, he was like a big furry hairball. All right, let me show you. Look at how that, how cool that looks. So I'll show you our paper. Isn't that a pretty cool effect? Just, you know, just a little bit of paint, some water. 
All right, so let's put these. Did I use that? I did use that, but I wiped it off. Okay. Hi, Gracie. How are you? Yeah, so, you know, just a little, it's just a cool little. So let's get this. Um, oh, my goodness. Troy James. I can hear the tape gun, son. Onyx, I'd stay over here if I were you. <laughs> so I don't. I actually am not going to mind that the butterfly is not right in the center, okay? Um, so, because I do want to kind of get a little bit of the florals that are off here to the side here. But I do want it straight, so. And I think it's crooked. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Is it crooked? Okay, y'all, all right, looks crooked. Okay, so we're going to put that right there. Let's get some Waverly plaster um, right here. Yeah, I like it off-centered. I like off-center everything. <laughs> I just got out of the hospital. I have cellulitis. And, oh, my goodness, Roxanne. Goodness gracious. I'm so sorry. I hope, well, if you're, you got out of the hospital, I hope you're doing, you're doing okay. All right, so I'm just going to get some of my, oh, my goodness, y'all. Waverly. There we go. Nope. There's something. Every time I clear it and then I move it back. I don't need that much, so that's good enough. Yeah. Prayers, prayers for you. You have no rest. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I know, Bubs. What are you going to pack over there? Okay, so we're just going to get a... Be kind of careful. Layer down. So, as always, when you decoupage, you do want... Your background light. We probably, it would not have been, um, because the wood is so light, you know, you probably would have been okay um, decoupaging directly on the wood. But to really get your, you know, your colors to be as vibrant as what's what you see on the rice paper, you do want to have the white background, so... All right, just want to make sure I didn't hang over. It's got a little bit, you could tell here where they, there's like a little groove in the in the wood, but it's all right. Okay, let's dry that. And then we're going to use the decoupage varnish and glue mat. I do have it in my Dix, uh, Dix, <laughs> my Sugar Bell bottle. Hi, Angie, how are you? Hi, Deborah. love Kleenex boxes. They're fun to do. Yep, they're fun. Yeah, please get some rest. Please get some rest. Okay. And then kind of like what I was talking about with, um, you know, any raw wood, what happens is you're going to lift the fibers so I can feel them when I touch. So I'm just going to take a 320 and get that, knock those back down. All right, ah, let's get this on here. Let's see if we can get this. I don't want to cut off her wing, but I kind of do want 
the florals right there. And then let's make sure, like I said, she's she's straight. All right. Okay, so so I don't have to work with too much paper. I am just going to um, water cut just that little bit right there. Actually, I'm not even going to water cut it. I'm just going to use my ruler, and I'm going to pull towards me. Okay, and then let's put that aside. Maybe we'll use that later. And now... Let's put her on there. Again, I want to get as much of those flowers as I can without. Okay. So I'm going to pull back. We're going to work in sections. I'm going to use my squeegee. Hi, Miss Kathy Drusy. Hi, Cherokee. How are you ladies doing? All right, I know, absolutely love these. I really like, I, you, I love the, you know, the colors, this, the, that teal blue, green, you guys know country blue and country green are two of my favorite uh, colors in the, um, the acrylic paint, so. This is right up my alley. All right, so I am going to use my squeegee to, again, just move that product underneath there evenly, but also get that down so there's no wrinkles. I always work in sections just in case I need to reposition my paper. I'm not trying to lift up the whole thing. I am, thank you. <laughs> Hopefully you're doing good today, Drusy. Hi, Dennis. <laughs> All right. Get this down. Beautiful. Okay, now let's get a, I'll just keep that brush there. I'm going to take a 320. Whoa. Aw. That's very sweet. Okay. We're just going to take a 320 on the gator now because the um, top is a little bit rounded. I'm just going to... Follow that. Remember, when you're sanding off, you want to keep it right, straight up and down. You don't want to come in at an angle because you don't want to pull your paper. You don't want to sand your paper. You just want to get that edge and always downward motion, never side to side, right? And also a fine grit. You don't want to go in with like a 60 or an 80. You're just trying to get the paper off. You're not trying to mess up, you know, like here we're attached. We're here at the corners. If I go in with a 60, I'm going to be sanding my box as well. And then sanding my the paint that I've done, right? Look at that. Look at how pretty. All right, let's go over this with a top. Coat. We're going to push down our fibers on the edges. And also give it that little... <laughs> protectant coating for when we're doing the rest of our work. Make sure all my edges are laid down. 
No fibers are sticking up. All right. Beautiful. Sharon, thank you for the stars. Appreciate that. Look at that. So we have our little color wash. Our beautiful butterfly. Butterfly. All right. All done. See you guys Saturday. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Let's try this. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and actually because i still have this wash down here i usually don't do that with you guys but i am going to take a little bit of that and put it on the bottom since i have it over here just ask me who you are watching i told him my carry and torture <laughs> in the water all right so i'm just going to come in with this again same process that we just did and i'm gonna just finish off the um the bottom since i have the wash down here Ooh, i just dipped into the wrong one good thing it's up oh that's okay. I think it's at the bottom. I'm just grabbing a baby white. You know when you your your brain does something and it's like what we were talking about the other day when you're going, no. Yeah. I knew I dipped into the wrong one and I still did it. Sharon, thank you so much for the stars. All right, so let's get this little bit done at the bottom. Just because I'm going to end up throwing that wash away, and then I'm going to need to do, do it again. So might as well just finish it now. And I think my, yeah, my butterfly is over there, so be careful. Okay. All right. Now I don't worry, I have to worry about doing the bottom later. Let's get on the insides there. Cool beans. Ha Veronica. Hi, so good to see you, Veronica. Aww. Is the link for your tissue, is there a link for your tissue box? Um, no, but I can get you a link. It's on Factory Direct Crafts. I can get it for you. Um, if you message me, I can grab it for you. Just going to dry this a little bit more. All right, so now let's see what else we want to do to her. I would like to do a little bit of stenciling. So, I would like to get out my So, I'm going to get out my glaze paste and I have an olive gold and a green and we're just going to mix that a little bit through the stencil you guys have seen me do that before let's put this under here because my luck it will spill i'm so sorry veronica gosh dog on it <sighs> Hi, Kathy Napic. How are you? Okay, so I want to stencil on the um, other side. So let's grab 
Let's grab a stencil or two or three or four. <laughs> I'm also looking at um, some of these to do something around the top there, too. Hi, my Monica. <laughs> oh, Sharon. Oh, my goodness, Sharon. <laughs> Okay, so this is DQ Stencil 0003. This is the Damask Tiles. You guys know I love this. Can you make a wash with any type of paint? Yeah. Shannon, hello, Mrs. King. How are you? So good to see you. Yes, you can, Deborah. Just water it down. All right, so we are going to use this and we're gonna try to put one of these in the center we know no how that might go <laughs> all right i think uh i think actually we're pretty close okay so I love the glaze paste. Um, there's like an iridescent that, well, they, they're iridescent, but what happens is I'm going to use some of the olive gold and the green. We're going to mix them through. When you, when they dry, you will see that the iridescent, the like the reflect of how the color changes. It's so, so pretty. So I am going to take my... Um, spatula. Look at, look. Ah! Y'all, do as I say, not as I do. Do you see how gummy and yucky that is? She many, Terry, really? That's uh, so why I tell you guys, pull that cardboard out. The metal is okay to use to leave in there. Don't leave that cardboard in there. It draws the moisture from your product and it's just no good. This is fine, but don't leave that cardboard in any of your stuff. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Okay. So I think I moved that a little bit, didn't I? Or no? Yeah, I did. You know. All right. All right, so let me move you back up. So I am going to literally take a little bit of this and a little bit of that, all right? Because I don't want to lose my wood, what I did back there. So I'm just going to take my silicone spatula, my silicone brush, and I'm going to put in a little bit of the green, a little bit of the olive gold, we're just going to go back and forth and mix the two. And I'll show you what happens. In this way, we still will have our wood grain. Show through there, but we'll also have a little bit of interest from the stencil as well of course you know we talked about this yesterday you don't have to use different colors i just you know like to be difficult <laughs> Don't do as Terry did, do what she said. Exactly! I put a transfer on a battery candle. Should I seal it or not? Always seal your transfers, Michelle. You always want to seal your transfers. Yes, seal it. Seal that puppy. 
Not difficult, unique. I like it. Not, I'm not difficult. I'm unique. This is the glaze, iridescent glaze paste in olive gold and green. Okay, again, available at TH Decor. My link is in the description, but Sue just asked me what colors those were, so I'm sure she will have them in there for you in a second. She's amazing like that. All right, so let's do... Voila. All right, and I'm going to take... I cleaned off my spatula. I'm just going to come to the edges. And... Get off the excess. Okay. So as you can see, when you're looking at it right now, it's like, oh, well, what's so special about that? Just give it a minute. Give it a minute. I want to make sure that my butterflies dry before I put that down. Just give it a minute. All right. Let's wipe the back of this off for, so we don't have any come through. You're welcome. Is there an alternative to the glaze paste? Um, an alternative as far as that type of look? Yeah, uh, you could use heavy body gel um, and maybe put um, and color your heavy body gel. Um, if you have, you know, any clear paste like that, you don't even have to color the heavy body gel if you don't like. Um, all right, I'm going to try to see where I am with that over there. I don't need it to be exact, but kind of in the in the in the vicinity. Oh, wait a minute. I have dots. I can see from the dots. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't ask me, guys. You know, I'm getting delusional. It'll probably get worse. As the day comes closer. <laughs> okay, so I'm just trying to center this a little bit. Again, you know, I can't be perfect. What's happening, Terry? All right, good enough. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Thank you, Cindy. Never thought about color in... The heavy body gel, what would you use for color? You can use mica, color, mica um, powders. You can use the metal pigments. You can use, um, we have drops. Um, you can use a, a ton of things to color your heavy body gel. We all, yeah. I don't guess I've done that with y'all, have I? So much to do. So many things to do. All right. Stand up straight. Don't know why I'm hunching over like that. Again, I'm just doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that. You know, sometimes I I do a lot of stencils work where I don't um, get the whole the whole stencil, but in this case, we also have um, transparent crackle, transparent crackle through. You guys have seen me do transparent crackle and color it. You can definitely use transparent crackle, um, Charlene, as well. That would be beautiful, too. So no rhyme or reason, just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. All right, so let's lift straight up and get this off. Get a little bit more on these, these here. All right. 
I do not want to put that back in there because I don't know which color it is. So let's lift straight up. There we go. And let's clean our sides again. We're going to be careful with this side because I have the other side of that done. Watching you and Nicole, my wish list keeps growing. I want to try it all, but maybe I'm becoming a craft hoarder. <laughs> I'm going to use the heavy body gel in a fondant mold for decoration. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, you go. Oh, yeah. Hi, Dewana. How are you? Very true. I mean, the the easiest thing, I guess, sometimes I don't think about. But, yeah, you could absolutely just um, use paint to color your heavy body gel. Okay, I'm just going to wipe off the um, excess in the back because we do have one more side to go. But I do need to dry it first. See? Teresa? She's amazing, I tell you. If you guys aren't watching Teresa Renee Art, you need to. Also, Teresa does Pint Art 101s every Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern. She's got, um, golly, she's got a handful of them now, more than a handful of them now. And by the time she's done, she will have gone over um, all of the Pintar products that we carry here in the U.S. and show you tips and tricks and how to use them. So please make sure you're you're um, watching Teresa too. Doesn't that look pretty, y'all? Look at that. How pretty is that? So I'm hoping I can get this in the light for you guys to kind of see the shift once it starts drying. But here I can already see, like I, I can see that these three here are gold. Teresa Renee Art. T-E-R-E-S-A. Um, Sue will drop her channel in here in just a second. There it is. So Sue just put in Teresa's channel. So Teresa is also the owner and curator of Decoupage Queen. So a lot of the beautiful designs, most most all of the beautiful designs are done by Teresa. We just followed her, Tina. Awesome. Hi, Kathy. Kathy, I giggle every time you put my name first and then Choi Choi's. Ever since that day when we have established that you're here for Choi Choi. <laughs> All right, so I'm just drawing these and I want to see if you guys, let me fix this light that I didn't even know is lighting up my back wall. But. Let's see if I can shift this in such a way where you guys are going to be able to see. So you can see kind of the gold that's happening. I'm trying to get it so you can kind of see the green as well. It's absolutely beautiful, you guys. Oh, my goodness. But as you can tell, you can see now when it dries down, it's not as um, it doesn't have like the. I don't know. I don't want to say white, but you know what I mean? As it dries down, it gets a more transparent, but the iridescent of the green and the gold will come through. You see that? All right. So I am going to, let's dry this just a little bit more. I need to get this one side. So I'm going to dry this just a little bit more. Let me Um, it's not, it's not that it's, spark I, I don't know. I wouldn't say sparkly. I don't know how to explain it. It's just a very beautiful, like iridescent. It's just, it, the light hits it right and you see the green and then it hits it and you see, you know, the gold. I don't know why I keep doing that. I used to always put Choi Choi first. I must have felt guilty. <laughs> 
You did. You always used to put Troy Troy first. Hi, Troy Troy and Terry. <laughs> is it a tissue box? Yes, it is. It's a tissue box, my friend Sandy. Hi, Sandy Triplet. I got it from Factory Direct Craft. So it's the one that has the little um, the little pull out at the bottom. I'll show you because I do need to cut um, through that paste a little bit. All right. Just want to make sure that it's dry. I actually will take out, um, I'm going to take out some parchment paper just so I don't, you know, lay it down and it picks up any of the sawdust or something that happened from when I sanded down the, the edges there. Hi, Robin. Quick hello. Okay, I hope you have a great day. Are you at work? Probably. Can see it really well up on the TV. Very pretty. Aw. Um, Trina, this is the decoupage queen stencil, uh, 0003, the tile, um, damask tiles. All right. So I am going to just put it on the parchment paper. It's pretty dry, but I just, you know, I don't want to get anything on it. I'm going to do the same thing, put that in the middle and kind of follow I can see my dots over here so that I'm kind of lined up there. And then let me see. Looks pretty good. All right, now let's get this centered. Okay, good enough. Again, a little bit of a little bit, right? So let's do a little bit. It's just a fun way to keep your, you know, your background colors, but still add a little, you know, bit of layering with the stencil. So, oh, I know, it's amazing, isn't it? What did I say, Troy Troy? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Love this. I you guys know this is one of my I mean most used stencils. Even when I try not to pull it out, I can't help it. I have one that has a lid on top that opens with the latch. Oh, that's pretty too. What colors are am I using? Again, I'm using um, olive gold. You see, olive gold and green. What is the little vacuum cleaner? <laughs> it's in my Amazon store. It's pretty amazing. So it vacuums on one side, and it um. It blows on the other side. All right. So this is our last side. Probably should have used my bigger silicone brush, but that's all right. We're already almost done. Okay, and then if you guys, you know, you want to take care of your stencil, so if you're able to get it over to the sink and you want to wash them out right away, you guys see I keep them in my pockets, um, but we also have an amazing stencil cleaner. It has gotten stuff off of my stencils that I didn't think would ever come off. <laughs> so because I can't get over to the sink, what I will do is just wipe it as well as I can. 
and um, uh, wipe it, wrap it, excuse me, in baby wipes, and then I'll get it over and, and wash it. All right. So let's get that off. That off. Um, got so pretty. All right. Then I'm going to stand it up just because I don't, I just want to make sure that other side is okay. Let's cover up my case for a minute. Okay. All right. So now I'm just going to take a couple of wipes and just kind of put them on here just until I can get to the sink. So that way it doesn't, you know. Actually, I'll use the parchment paper. All right, let's try this. I went to search for one item, put 16 items in my cart. <laughs> and you were selective. <laughs> my Amazon store is dangerous. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, you guys, look at it. Oh, you can see it now. Look. Oh, oh my goodness, y'all. Oh. Hi, good evening, Jill. No worries. Never, ever late. You guys know I always just appreciate the time that you can spend with me. If it's a few minutes, a few hours, good Lord, sometimes. Okay, so this is the bottom lip. Right, that's what comes out for the, yeah, because that's the front. So I'm just going to take my knife and just run it so that way I can get that out. Okay, there we go. Okay, all right. So we have our sides looking pretty, you know, pretty, pretty. Um, this is the one that we did. So now let's do something to the top. So an amazing thing about these stencils, right? You can use pieces. This is the wet side. So I'm going to put. So let's do a little bit of something, something. Hi, Carrie. Thank you. What happened? <laughs> oh, trees. So just to show you, we've got an iridescent. There's also the blue. We have a uh, pearl white. That would have been really pretty too. So, and then, you know, there's other glazes, right? So have fun looking at that line. I love them all. Um, I will tell you, don't be fooled by these colors. The um, the green and the red, when they dry, it is really, truly a green and really, truly a red. So if you're looking for green and red and you go, uh-uh, that's not the color I'm looking for. Honestly, when they dry, they do dry that dark. So don't let that throw you off. But up here, I want something up here. So let's look through here. I want to take um, some pieces. I was kind of looking at this um, when I was going through here the first time. That's what I had mentioned about. Which did I use? I used the green and the um, olive gold. The green and the olive gold. All right, so. Ah, look at that. All 
Uh oh. Rut row. Which way do we go? Which way do we go? All right, so let's look at. I'm kind of liking those. Look at those. Where did that other one go? This one. So this one is the 0010 Hammond's Furniture. And then this one is Fresh Sunflowers 0014. All right, so let's look at this. Mm. Are you mm and me again? Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, so if I did these. I'd probably only do like opposing corners. Okay. You're such a cutie patootie. And if I did these. You're just a cutie patootie. I know with your sound effects. I just want to see if, didn't I just use a pencil, y'all? Let's see. I'm not poison. He's quick, but he's not that quick. All right. So I was just looking at how long that line was. So we could actually overlap it and have a line border all the way around if we did these. So, no, he's having chicken nugget time, Drusy. Chicken nuggets, chicken nuggets. So do we like number one, which would be just opposing corners because those are, those are kind of, kind of mighty, mighty. Or do we like number two and actually have that border going? So what I'm talking about border is because these two lines would meet, right? Is cutie Troy packed up? Oh, I'm not, uh, not all the way. He's getting there. No, not even close. I'm telling stories. Not even close. We still have so much to do for Troy, for everywhere. I used all the boxes for my craft stuff, y'all. <sighs> number two. Everybody saying number two? All right. Let's do this one. And I'm kind of wondering. We're going to need to get out some of our antiquing paste and do these corners. Or maybe I'll go through the corners with um, gold. <clears throat> we'll see. All right. So let's do our little corners. Oh, why did I put that? I never put anything away until I'm done, but today I decided to. Packing takes a long time, no matter how you organize you are. <laughs> yeah, well, unfortunately. Unfortunately, okay, so let's get off. Let's use our little gum eraser and take off that little mark first. Okay, and then let's get up here. Let's hold the box straight. Trying to see that corner, and let's put it straight, because we will be able to tell if we've gone around this wonky, wonky-like. All right, um, let's do gold.
Okay. Just going to wipe that. And then I intentionally didn't do that line all the way because I knew this was going to come over on it. All right. Let's load it up a little bit first. Yes, you should just dry it, but you know, I tend to keep you here for like six hours and try not to do that today. Actually, I'll need to do more of that line, it looks like. I didn't do enough of it. Okay, I will connect those lines in a minute. I uh, didn't do the line because I thought it was going to go way into it, but that's okay. All right, let's clean off this little piece. Hi, Miss Shauna. Hi, Lori. Yeah. I'll get it. I will get it. All right, and then... Let's do trying to get it even with the the corner. Green on this one, and then get the gold. Okay, and then we're probably going to now have to dry because I won't be that crafty to be able to hold up all the angles. <laughs> Thank you, Betty. Hi, Cheryl. Good evening. And I'm thinking maybe we'll put some pearls right around the opening there. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right, let's dry that. And then Okay. So, should be able to see where the lines are on both of them. Okay, so those lines pretty well connected. I need to finish this line out here. Let's use this one. So I'm just going to use 
little bit and connect these two. And by the time it's dry, you won't see, you won't see much, but let's just use this one. Connect the line there. Okay, cool beans. Actually, did we get a little wiggly on that one? Where's my itty bitty? Itty bitty. There we go. There we go. Where's the front? There we go. All right. Same thing. Oh, this is easier. I didn't use too much. Let's just wipe this off and I'll lay this in that parchment paper with the wipes there. It's a party of stencils in here. Let's get that one. Thank you. All right, so we've got those. Where do I? Betty, did you go over to YouTube? <laughs> you funny, you're funny, funny. All right, let's close these up and then we'll dry that. Now, what I want to do is take a little bit of well, we'll have to dry these, but I want to take a little bit of the antiquing paste. What time is it? Oh, yeah, we're almost done. And Umbra. And then also. A little bit of a gold wax. And we're going to come around and do our edges and then let's get some pearls to go around the top there. So pretty. Yeah. She's on the dark side. <laughs> and had to say hi to Sue. There's a good handful of you over there. Okay. Gonna get these edgings here dry. Hi, Sandy. Yeah, I think he's done because the sound effects are done. The mm, 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 mm. you try to comment on all the pages. Ah, thank you. <laughs> I will seal, um, you know, the rice paper. Uh, as far as the rest of the box, uh, no, it's not. I don't need to. Okay, so I'm going to come around now. I want to be very easy with this because all I want to do is like I usually do and just hit my edges. Where is my little, my little, my little, little. All right. Charlene, you're still awake? Holy guacamole. Okay, so I'm going to take one of my decoupage queen stencil brushes and I'm going to, always with the clean brush, work it into the bristles first. Use my lid. Okay. 
then I'm going to kind of tap that off because all I want to do is just hit my edging. So let me make sure. Okay, and then I'm going to come in with my soft cloth. And I'm just going to lightly, because I don't want to rub it off, I just want to kind of get it blended and any excess off. So can you guys see, it's just got a little bit around there. Hi, Renee. <laughs> Betty's back. Okay, last side. So I don't know if you can even tell, but it almost gives it just a little bit of framing around everything. And it doesn't just look like it, I don't know, to me it always, if I don't do it, it I feel like it's just sitting there. Um, I don't know, almost kind of, you know, like exactly what I just did. I just put, you know, decoupaged it right here and then it just, I don't know, it's just like it, I need to blend it in a little bit. Um, so now I'm just going to come and I'm going to put my finger and I'm going to be very careful and I'm just going to do the same Okay. Uh, to me, it just finish it, finishes it and brings it together. If you can see now the little bits of gold that's on there. Um, I, I always feel if I just put the paper down and leave it alone, kind of like the paper just is sitting there and unfinished. Um, so it, it just looks, it looks strange to me, to my eyes. But, you know, obviously, you don't have to. Okay. 
this side, we should have just this and just this. So I'll show you. You can even see it. Oh, you can. No, it's an actual wood box. So we did like almost a watered down paint. That's why you can see the wood grains in there still. So we just watered down our paint. So that way it just made a wash. So we could still see the wood grains of our box. Actually, my finger caught on here just a little bit, but I think that looks kind of cool, actually. I'm going to come on this side, do the same thing. All right. So now it's looking a little bit more finished to me. It's not sitting there like, a, you know, it's sitting looking silly. Thank you. Love how you take a plain wooden box and turn it into a beautiful home decor piece. Oh, thanks, Deborah. Good night, Sharon. If that's it, Sharon didn't. <laughs> Good night, Sharon. <laughs> okay, so now that we've kind of finished off and done all of, do we still want think we should do the pearls up top, or is it not even needed? It does. It just it it gives it just a little bit of finishing, right? Because, like I said, it almost feels like it's just sitting there. Um, you know, and it's not, now it's a part of the box. Um, when it, you know, when we didn't do any of the shadows and the highlight, it, it was like, oh, you, you put something on one side of the box. Now it looks blended and looks like it is part of it. Um, so I'm almost wondering if I want to put anything like that to there. Um, if I want to put the pearls on there, I'm contemplating putting soft touch on here on just this, but you guys can tell me. No, they wouldn't because it's going to pull. I wouldn't put the pearls on the inside. The pearls go up on the rim. Do we soft touch it or do we leave it as it is? Because it's beautiful. Beautiful. No pearls needed. I didn't, yeah, right? After we did a little bit of the, after we did everything to it, it's beautiful. So what do you guys think? Should we soft touch? Or no? Soft touch, soft touch. Okay. Is it, okay. You twisted my arm. You twisted my arm. So we'll soft touch really quickly, and then this is going to be done, y'all. You know what's funny is I didn't leave out a whole bunch of projects, and when I need projects to take more time, they're not. I'm finishing them. So, this is going to be hilarious here in a minute because we're not going to have any substrates. <laughs> so, um, I was asked earlier if I would have sealed any of this. So, the only thing, like I said, I would have sealed is the rice paper. And so, this is soft touch varnish. So this will be our sealer. If you've never used soft touch before, you're missing out. Um, soft touch is true to its name. When you put the varnish on, it literally gives the soft feel to whatever you put it on. So it gives almost a velvety feel 
to whatever surface you're applying it to. It does mattify whatever you're applying it to as well, though. So be aware that, you know, it that will mattify it. So that's why I'm kind of being cautious around my edges because I don't want it to mattify my gold. I know, Jill. I, I'm going to say you said so. I'm going to say you said so. Jill said I need to make a trip. I'm sorry, y'all. I know, we need to pack, but I need stuff to do. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Anne. Doggone it. What did that say? I it it's so this is, you know I mean I don't I can't explain it. Like I said, it just is the softest feeling and it literally it's it's amazing what it does. So there's our tissue box. What's a girl to do? I, Jill gave me a pass. She said, you need to go to Goodwill. It's necessary for you to create it, to keep creating. Right, Jill? You said all of that. <laughs> so there's our tissue box. Look at that reflection from the iridescent. It's so cool because I can see a lot of the gold right here. And then I see green in through here. And it's kind of, it goes a little different on the other sides. But so fun to see all of that wood grain still peeking through, right? So fun. So, ta-da! Look at that. Now you can really see it. Oh my goodness. And then our top, so we, beautiful, y'all. So we have our tissue box, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Again, you can do it with anything, any of your paints. Um, I had, a, a, I was intending to do it with my acrylic, um, but then I realized that I needed a different color, so I watered down the decor chalky. So just water it down. Maybe test it before you put it on your wood because you guys did see how much, you know, how quickly it grabbed. But that one area is this area here, and it's a little bit darker, but I'm not mad at it because it has the colors that are in the butterfly. But if you are doing it on wood, just test maybe like a discrete, you know, area um, on how potent your color is going to be because once you get it down it, it is going to soak right into that wood but it's just a little bit different of a technique something fun something else you could do with your um, paints and then again if you didn't have the iridescent glazes you know we have transparent crackle you can color your heavy body gel um we have we all kinds of things i mean golly I'm looking at a bunch of transparent stuff back here so that you can color. So anyways, remember, I'm not going to be on tomorrow because I got to go be an adult and I've got to turn on some utilities, you know, the last couple, um, the water and the garbage. And then Troy Troy has an eye appointment. But um, keep a lookout um, because I might pop in tomorrow night, maybe, Or, um, but you will see me on Saturday. It's just going to be later on Saturday because we have creative hour at noon my time, and we usually don't finish up there until like 1, 1 1.30, so I probably won't be on until 2, 2 or so, um, but 
all if you don't have a my telegram please make sure you sign up for my telegram because i always send all the important stuff in telegram so and i give you a warning 15 minutes before i'm going live every single time so make sure you sign up for my telegram it is on my link tree but otherwise i'll see you guys in a couple days i hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll talk to you later bye